Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Thursday, members of the University of Pikeville's choir program held their first audience-held concert since last year. Before the concert, we spoke with UPike's director of choral music, Eric Rutherford, about the show. So uh, this is our fall concert. I'm, this is my second year here. So um, last year we weren't able to do two concerts in the winter. Uh, so, uh, but this year we are, uh, the program's growing. We do a lot of training at the very beginning of the year. So this is sort of like our initial outing. Uh, a group like this, it's really important uh, that they get to perform early so that they can sort of gel as a group before they, um, you know, as we continue. Obviously, choir here at UPike is a four-year event, and um, I've got mostly freshmen and sophomores at this point, but yeah. Although students from UPike's core program were unable to perform last year, Rutherford hopes to display the class's talent. We've had fantastic rehearsals. Um, the choir started out last fall with 15 members in it. Uh, we've grown to close to 40 now. Um, so obviously there's a, there's a lot more sound there and a lot more excitement having uh, more students. I think if I'm looking forward to anything, I'm looking forward to their being able to experience the music and, and, and express it to the audience. If you missed UPike's choir concert, you can catch them again this November 18th at Benefactor Square. From Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.